Okay, so this video will show you how to uh, utilize Team Builder in the weight room um, when adding maxes or testing athletes. Um, so Team Builder is able to fit on any size tablet. So rather than using a spreadsheet or a clipboard to record maxes in the weight room, you could simply pull up Team Builder and then go to Workout Tools and Maxes and PRs. Once you're on this page, you can then go to the left and hit the plus sign, meaning you're going to add some testing data. Once you're here, you can add uh, data to either a single athlete, an entire sport, or just a calendar of athletes. In this case, we're going to do a test for the entire football team. And then we can select to, to record a max for a lift, uh, a run, or a cardio, or a circuit, or even a health metric. So in this case, we're just going to do back squat. When we do this, we'll go ahead and build you a table. The first option is to either set this as a current max. So if you want this 1RM test to count as the 1RM for percentage-based lifting in the future, then make sure to check that box. And then the second option will be to lock maxes. Locking maxes means that the athletes will continue to work off of these one rep maxes regardless of our formula. So remember, we have a one rep max formula that will create a predicted 1RM. If you want that predicted 1RM to continue being the max that the athlete works off of, then leave this unchecked. If you do not want that formula to take effect, then check this box. From there, you can go ahead and start adding weights for your athlete. So if you want to go ahead and type in what the athlete has been doing, you can also edit the number of reps that they put in. So if you're doing a multi-rep max, go ahead and just put in the multi-rep in here. And what will happen is, is we'll use that formula to derive a 1RM for that athlete. Um, and this is how you can quickly test using a tablet in the weight room, no paper needed. Once you record these maxes, then everyone inherits a one rep max profile. If I wanted to go to say uh, Scott's profile, and I wanted to look at Scott's uh, max over time, I could go to his back squat and see that there's a little history icon. I can click history, and then it gives me a chart of his progression. And over here, I can actually set a max with any one of these 1RMs. I can archive them. Uh, I can add a new one, and I could lock the, the current one. So there's a lot that you can do, but basically it's a way to store all this data and determine which one you want to use as the one rep max for the percentage-based lifting.